Hello YouTuber, uh, it's me again, yes, uh, today uh, uh, well, I'm demonstrate how to remove this back trim panel uh, and uh, uh, in related to my earlier video how to install the, uh, well, well not exactly how to install the, the uh, uh, introduction of the um, this um, uh, aftermarket um, uh, automatic uh, trunk or boot opener um, uh, but the reason why I want to uh, 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 remove is apparently one of my boys saying oh there's something rattling inside there so today I'm going to uh, uh, remove it and, uh, and investigate whether it was them uh, trying to uh, 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 well, making fun of me or, or just actually some actually something rattling inside so uh, yeah maybe I didn't tidy up some wiring uh, previously so it wouldn't uh, uh, hurt to uh, uh, investigate a little bit more so today I'm going to show you how to remove this and uh, but first of all you need some tools and uh, the tool my tools of choice uh, flathead screwdriver Phillips head screwdrivers and um, a um, a handheld trim remover and this heavy duty trim remover this is my tool choice for uh, remo remo removing trims and uh, um, fabulous stuff and uh, and today I've got this uh, uh, tripod so um, in any moment I'm going to put it on there uh, I'll maybe just stop the video video and then put it on the tripod and so I can have two hands to do the job yeah, so, they are saying, let's make a start. Okay, now first of all, uh, because I have a um, uh, rear uh, 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 dash cam, uh, uh, rear view uh, camera, um, I just unplug it first before I do anything else. And um, first of all, have to remove uh, the, um, um, the how it works is a bit, with most of the Japanese cars are like that, or, or uh, most of the vehicles nowadays, um, you start from one panel, and then you work your way in to remove the big, the big bits. Uh, so, so this works like one climbing on top of each other. So, start with this one first. Uh, uh, so, um, oh, by the way, this is related to uh, uh, the two thousand and thirteen to uh, two thousand and twenty one. Uh, uh, Mitsubishi Outlanders uh, or Gen, Gen 3 uh, or in Australian term probably uh, uh, set J, set K and set L so first of all you remove it by lifting the, this panel if you're not sure you can just do one side at a time it, because uh, at least two, uh, this panel only hold, hold on by a, a, a clip uh, a push on clip those four uh, uh, clips and also these uh, 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 clips that hold onto the holes there on both sides of the panel so okay so that's done now secondly we have to remove uh, this side uh, the, the, the side panel so we do one side first as you can see that's got every one uh, you have to, uh, 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 clip, uh, push on clip you have to remove one and this one is very odd. Uh, the uh, the push on clippers go on that side. So you go there, two, three, and that's off. And uh, yeah, and same as this uh, this side. One, two, three. And that should come off. Of this uh, uh, hole, actually hold on to the side there. 
the cake now. So now I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a little um, uh, push button clip on both sides. You have to remove. So we use this to push onto the button and lifts it up. Uh, the, the, uh, lifts up the clip. Um, I'll just show you guys in there. It is like this. So uh, when it is on the panel, it goes like that. So you use a, a, this tool to lift the uh, the in inside out, and it will come out pretty, pretty much like that. So have to remove this on both sides. And pretty much this pan panel, uh, this big one piece three panel can just come out. So um, if you have one of those um, uh, trim remo remover that can go straight in, go uh, uh, and then you squeeze it, and uh, 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 it will come come off. But in this case, I just use the hand. Uh, you just pull pull down. Pull along the edge here, eh? because all the push on to the edges here. Eh? And there's some at the, at the top. Just pull it along the edge, it will come out. Ooh, there we go. Just be careful. It will actually land on your head. So, so all the clips are along the edge of the panel there, uh, and uh, and that's pretty much it. And now. Basically, everything has come uh, come off now. It's just time to re inspect the wiring, and uh, yeah, and uh, because I've been um, installing the um, the ECU there, so I have to tweak uh, the wiring every every uh, uh, everywhere, and um, and put some wire adapters along here and there. So uh, now it's time for me to in, uh, investigate the. Um, the loose wire, so uh, I have to stop it for a second. Oh, uh, actually, okay, got a clear view. So one, once it comes off, it looks like that. And that's the one piece of the rear, rear panel. And um, so uh, when I have time, I probably put some some more sound deadening uh, material to make it um, uh, uh, more, more soundproof uh, later on. Okay, I just stop the camera for a second and I'll come back and uh, to um, show how you guys to push it back in in one, uh, uh, in one piece. Oh, hello, back again. Uh, with some uh, investigation, we found there was some tape that uh, hadn't been taped back properly. So now I have uh, to do them up again. Uh, yeah, oh, actually found some more. Uh, yeah. Uh, so there's some uh, wire I haven't been tied uh, uh, up properly. So uh, now I have a chance that I can remove the, uh, um, the back panel. And I'll do it up. Again. Mm, do it up again. And mm, where is the end? There you go. Found it. Okay. Yeah, one. One more to type up. This is about incredibly hard to go around with.
this is the uh, fabric type I ordered through uh, Ali AliExpress, and uh, it seems to be very rigid and very tight, and and uh, they stick on really, really well. But I really like this uh, type, and uh, yeah. The only reason why these things comes off is because I've been using the, the treatment from uh, Bunnings. Uh, and uh, they're going to step on really well. So, I'll remove them with uh, a proper grade of uh, electrical tape. Uh, that should uh, last. Last lifetime. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, the yeah. Tiny little. Bit. Yeah. Cool bananas. Okay. And this last check. Make sure every connector is uh, secure. Nice and loose. And nice and tight. Cool. Okay, now we have to put this back now. And uh, the procedure is the same, but uh, uh, with these I intend to um, push down uh, one, uh, uh, one end first uh, before I start to uh, uh, pop the other. Uh, the, uh, pop the others on because you can at least see them, uh, see them and uh, once the lines up they should uh, uh, go in properly so uh, go up here and uh, then these end will be a bit tricky just do it by feel now, now this end, this end is on. Now the side, so just pop, pop. That is a very, very positive pop. So cool and well, I made it. Wipe it down. Keep it nice and tidy. And now, this is the tricky bit. Uh, now, uh, but before we do it, we have to put this uh, two um, things back, uh, these clips back on. Uh, they are they are over here. So, all you need to do is just make sure all the legs, these uh, little little legs, goes into the hole first. Goes in the hole first, and make sure they push push down like this uh, before you snap. That's how this little bug is uh, goes on. And uh, now uh, do the same with the other side. So put you guys down here for a second and. I'll just do it the same on the other side. Click. Now, um, it comes to these pa uh, panels now. Now, um, it should be only one. Um, uh, if you're not sure, uh, uh, when as you disassemble it, you usually put left and right on uh, on either side, so you know uh, that. This belong to this side and the other one belong to that side. So now this one, because of this tricky fitting, you have to line them up first on the bottom panel first. They are bugger I think to push on. There. And then And so, uh, uh, after you line, line, line up those uh, notches there, uh, once they're in, you push that way, so the two uh, clip goes in, then, then, done. 
Now on this, same goes on this side. Uh, every time I have removed this, I have enormous problem with the, the those tabs there. Never go on talking for some reason. Because the, the, um, the Mitsubishi plastic is so soft. If you're not careful with it, it will go out of shape easily. This one, the final uh, piece of resistance. Now, uh, because I have the, uh, remember the wire, I have to dangle that out first before I push this panel back in, back on. So the, the way I do it is that I usually line up those top uh, clip first, and then I uh, and then push those four clips in first before you push the uh, the uh, 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 this. Uh, uh, push on clip back on. So I have to line them up first. Line them up first. So I do from here. Yeah, I really hate those as well. Because, uh, the plastic is so soft they never line up properly. Oh click. Click click. Oh beautiful. Push those uh, 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 click back on. That's it. Positive click. Done. It's the easiest. I've, it's the easy, e easiest go I've ever done. And those gaps are lined up properly as well. Wow. Super cool. Super cool. Ah, oh, anyway, all good. Uh, now, um, if this happened to, uh, uh, if had to um, remove the weather seals, uh, just need to be careful because this weather seal also act as a um, uh, trim holder, just like the um, uh, the, the, the door pillar uh, 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 weather seal, and um, um, every time, every now and then, you have to use your finger to. Uh, pull, pull them out and use the fingers to to squeeze the um, the channel in and, uh, and make sure they stay on properly and uh, yeah and uh, if uh, oh if you need to uh, uh, like like when I use uh, the the the, uh, the um, automatic tailgate or whatever you want to work on uh, uh, whatever and uh, need to feed wine through the uh, the weather channel. Um, uh, you, uh, the, the uh, you know, through the uh, existing volume, this is a volume that you know, they, they just pulls off. They just pulls off, so they, they're easy. And uh, and the, head, the, the headliner, you need to be very very careful with the headliners. Don't put any pressure on them, otherwise when they fold, uh, when they easily get fold or uh, in, in not allowed to be so rough with it because they're so soft. Once they get fold, you will you, see an ugly ugly. Uh, 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 line uh, you know, folds on, on, on the headlining, it will actually ruin the appearances. And um, the headlining is actually hold on to these little push on button there. Again, you use uh, these uh, tools to, to, to remove it by uh, uh, putting in the, uh, in the edge and it just pulls it out. Uh, at this stage, I don't want to do it because I don't need to remove it. Uh, uh, I actually, I bugged them, uh, three of them, when I removed them. So this this is really really delicate piece of work. So you need to be careful. And um, uh, besides, uh, everything else is pretty much um, straightforward. Oh yeah. Uh, if uh, another thing is um, be because this kit requ require to uh, uh, the uh, the um, the automatic boot uh, 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 opener, it requires the drills 
a hole to feed the wire in. So I make the mistake. I thought I drill through here, the wire can feed through. You can't. Yeah, actually, that's another layer of metal inside. Um, in the instructions, they say, oh, feed the wire through somewhere. Don't bother. Because if you feel it, there is very, very complicated. Uh, 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 complicate and uh, mess up the whole thing. Uh, you actually just drill uh, uh, further in. There's two layers of steel in there, so just drill, drill through it and uh, uh, stay, uh, you know, then you don't have to muck around. And uh, yeah. and uh, yeah, besides that, everything else, yeah, pretty much straightforward. And uh, ooh, let's get that. Did you get the building properly? Yeah, I did, I did, okay. And that's the hatch there. I showed you guys before about how to uh, 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 open the hatch uh, manually, just in case uh, uh, the, um, um, the something wrong with the, uh, the button or, or no no power. You can actually use that to open the boot. And okay, and that's it. And my job is done. And uh, that uh, and. And I have to wrap this up and uh, thank you once again. Thank you very much for watching. And um, once again, if you found this video is useful, tap the, tap the, uh, the like button underneath. And so YouTube know that I uh, have explained everything uh, uh, clearly, properly, and it's a good video. Uh, so that YouTube can recommend the others uh, to, to uh, just in case somebody wants to um, do this to the same job, they can have a look at it and uh, have a and so they can have an idea how to open it. And once again, thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, if you uh, yeah, yeah if you like, uh, uh, if you like the video, just tap the like button underneath. And uh, if uh, there's any comment or you think it's anything that I missed, uh, just leave, leave a comment underneath. And uh, 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 and as usual, like, comment, subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. And just to remind you guys to have a good day. Cheers. Goodbye. See you next video.